What's up guys, we are at the infamous ASSC Racing with another project on the dyno. Uh, you guys saw this one come together, not really come together, but as a finished product. This is the LSA swapped six liter L uh, S10, LS10, loose change, spare change, grandpa's truck. It's got a bunch of names, uh, but it's been on the dyno now. It just made dyno pole, pole number three. We did do some moderate street tuning with it last night. Uh, so hopefully we're gonna save Larry some time on the dyno today. That's why he was able to sneak us in. But the new cool, uh, we put a new radiator, new fan, new shroud uh, and it does seem to be maintaining temperature which is good and it is making some serious freaking steam uh, you guys will see a couple videos that we got of it but it is super super sick uh, it made like 800 plus foot pounds of torque at the tire and it's horsepower numbers are still pretty low uh, low sixes uh, we're having some problems with the horsepower number falling off of top although boost and everything's going up so i just got here actually so i'm just getting filled in on it uh, but let me show you guys the truck a little bit closer and uh, we'll obviously cut to the videos because this thing sounds monstrous. It is so awesome sounding. It sounds even better than the Cobra blower. So, all right, let's check it out. Really? <laughs> Here. All we need is one person to call us and say, I want one of those. Like, you're in luck. You can have this one for $47,000. <laughs> is bad so obviously you guys saw the dyno chart uh, it made some great power it still needs a lot of smoothing so we're still playing with timing and fuel to make that pull smooth uh, we did a lot of changes to get it to where it is right now from the last one so it did pick up a lot of horsepower but uh, still working on trying to get it to be make a nice clean pass but otherwise it's making gobs and gobs of torque just tire tire straight tire killer so we're gonna pull a spark plug out of it see what the timing mark looks like um, and obviously go over the data log, make sure all the fueling is spot on. There's a lot of sporadicness in that dyno chart, so we have to figure out what the source is of that, and then we'll be happy with this thing. All right, so we changed some of the fueling, or actually we didn't change any fueling curve on this pass, um, but we did add about uh, two degrees of timing. Spark plug set on both sides. It should be able to take it no problem. 
Um, we are running the ice box ice to the max. So we're getting the intake air temps into the low 100s, where last night when we were beating on it repeatedly, we were getting up to like 130, 140. But with the Holly, we'll have it automatically take timing out of it when the intake air temps are high. So let's see if this smooths out the dyno chart, and then we'll move on to the next poles. Big, big torque still. Uh, it didn't really smooth out the power chart. It looks like it kind of leveled off and held it up, but you can still see on the dyno chart, it's like rah, 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 rah. So uh, we're obviously gonna keep messing with that. Maybe we're gonna circle back to ignition coils. That could be a problem. Um, but obviously it sounds super sick. It's gonna be really rowdy. Um, but yeah, that's where that's where she's at. If, if this is where the tune-up ends up, we'll definitely be turning the shift points down because there's no need to be winging the thing up to 6800. You know, we'll have this thing shift, shift at like 64, uh, and that'll probably help the burnout situation because that's all we're going to be able to do. So, all right, let's uh, pull some bar plugs, take a look at those, move on to some more poles. All right, guys, we are probably going to be making the last hit of the night right now. We got a couple more degrees of timing, and it's still trying to chase that smooth and horsepower number. Uh, but let's see what she does with a couple more degrees of timing in it. reading the torque number it's jumping on the dyno it's getting better though that got better yeah it's it's it sounded like it too it was a maybe more now i woke up you know what he's gonna say give me some pizza it ain't mine is that what you're gonna say no i'm just happy that it carried it out that's 60 that was the same thing, 6,500. Up here. Yeah. What was the torque? It skipped again, but 794. 795, yeah, 794 and a half. 640, 6.3. Another one, another two, actually. Timing is finally starting to read on the plug a little bit more aggressively, so this is going to be the last hit. It's the last spark plug we have, last fuel, last ice. So she's good. After this, we're going to just get in the uh, air temp compensation, get aggressive with the timing coming out of it, and then uh, she'll be ready to come off the dyno. Yeah. <laughs> that doesn't make sense. Yeah, it kind of like pumps down like a turbo a little bit. 